be it. Live it. Do it. Act on what's in your heart and soul. Don't wait for time to pass and slip through your fingers and live in regret. Do it now. Stand up. Listen to me. I've been knocked down and all around my whole life, man. I get knocked down each day, but each day I'll get back up. My name's Mikey Miles. My name's Mikey Miles, and I'm. Hey, this is Mikey Miles. This is Mikey Miles. Hello, my name is Mikey Miles. Hello, this is Mikey Miles. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Mikey Miles. Um, no, it's actually Xavier. Um, that was a good little joke, though. Um, this is a uh, gonna be a crazy episode. It's been a while. Uh, I'm alone today. I will not be joined by Ian or David. Um, not just because it is 4:03 in the morning uh, on a Thursday, but also because uh, this is an intense subject, and um, every Everybody else that we've covered um, before on the podcast has hasn't necessarily been in trouble. I guess let's we could put it that way. Um, it's never been uh, more of an you know it, like it's just more of an intense subject than um, than Jason or you know Percy Wood or Chester Stone. None of them are uh, in trouble per se. Maybe they're a little over the top, but none of them are doing anything that's really necessary to be called out and that is uh the difference with this episode i guess the biggest one um not that we won't call out people together in the future but really just didn't know how to present all of this information to them and you simultaneously i guess uh, also there will not be a camera in this episode uh, also because it is 404 in the morning like i just said on a Thursday, my hair is wet, my underpants are on with no pants on top of them, uh, my underpants are wet like my hair, and I'm just not going to be filming myself for this one. I'm going to try to get through it as fast as I possibly can, because I'm honestly tired of talking or researching this son of a bitch. Um, no offense, Mikey, but uh, I... I so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get through it. I'm gonna be moving on to breakneck speed. I'm gonna be covering everything that I have found uh, about Mikey Miles and everything that's been shown to me by a couple people that helped me out, I guess. Um, in terms of why I decided to make something this intense, I guess, or or to to dive into something like this is uh, a lot of inspiration from the Yeah But Still pod. Uh, they are, uh, it's Brandon Wardell and Jack Wagner. Uh, Jack sometimes does a few solo episodes on the Patreon where he really, uh, investigates something that nobody necessarily needs to know, but just a very, uh, interesting, uh, you know, peculiar subject like this. So drawing inspiration from, uh, kind of how he handles those investigative episodes. Um, they're some of the best, you know, podcasts I've ever listened to and really recommend checking those out. Uh, I'll put a, a link down in the uh, description of this video to their Patreon because that's the only Patreon I subscribe to. So, it, you know, it's some good shit. It's the uh, real deal. Really funny stuff and also very informative when it comes uh, to those certain episodes. Uh, but yeah, I don't necessarily want to put Mikey on blast here. This isn't, you know, my true intentions, but this is, you know, on the internet. I'm not doing anything except Googling, ugh, Googling here, uh, folks. Not really doing, you know, I'm not paying any money for some fucking private investigator shit. Like, I'm just coming in and, uh, search, you know, looking through Instagram, looking through, uh, couple things not really digging you know that crazy deep so this is all you know live on social media or at least it was at one point before being deleted so you know this isn't private information this isn't any sort of doxing uh type stuff because it's all it's all pretty public knowledge a lot of people know that this is going on nobody's really talking about it though uh i've been kind of following mikey for I want to say four or five months now, and you know I thought he was a uh, you know strange, strange goofy dude. I didn't really know uh, you know what to talk, talk about him. He's, he just wasn't doing anything particularly bad or you know hostile in any way. But 
uh, I guess let's just say things have changed here, and now there is something to uh, actually dive into more than just um, an aspiring actor from New York. Which, yeah, no way am I trying to put his uh, the rest of his life on blast. Just a certain part of it, I guess you could say, um, but for for a good reason. And we'll you know we'll get into that. We'll talk we'll we'll talk about everything. So Michael David Hermely, I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Maybe it's just Hermely. Uh, February eighteenth, nineteen eighty six. That is his birthday. He's an aspiring actor. He's from New York. Uh, he hasn't really been in, you know, anything too big, a couple things. He's got an IMDb page, um, but, you know, nothing, I think everything's just kind of on YouTube, but, you know, he's still, he's out there, he's grinding, he's uh, part of some actor guilds, I believe, uh, coalitions, I don't know what you would call the, uh, those sorts of uh, congregates of people, of actors uh, in a bunch. Uh, but he is, you know, he's out there in New York, he's uh, checking it out. Maybe he'll run into Jason and he'll be able to, uh, you know, teach him some ways, teach him the ways of the uh, the samurai. I would consider Jason a a samurai. Um, but yeah, I even reached out to Mikey, um, you know, before any of the shit hit the fan, really, and uh, I basically just asked him if uh, he wanted to chat. And <laughs> I guess that, I don't know if I should be showing this necessarily, but he he just it was funny. He asked for money to be on a podcast, and that just doesn't really happen, especially at any sort of level that we're at, and also just skyping. Um, but yeah, I gave him a chance to talk a while back. He left me on red, uh, and uh, you know he wants to talk after this episode then. Um, yeah, let's we can chat. We can uh, he can speak his piece straight to someone asking questions rather than just to a camera recording with no you know sort of structure. Um, yeah, actor extraordinaire. He's out there. Like I said, I'll go through you know social media real quick. Throw up his IG. Um, you know, getting close to five k. Also getting close to seven k posts, which is insane been on here since uh you know 2014 he's he's been out here uh for quite a while he's on twitter and stuff as well um i'll have those links also but uh yeah he's on you know like i said he's got the imdb he's got a couple things he, he looks like he was an audience at the awards at, uh, on a 30 rock show and like the 30 rock awards he was an audience member i don't know about that <clears throat> but Law and Order, playing dead, and a high school student that's decent, guy in a leather jacket at a bar in the Manhattan Diaries. I didn't look into those too much. I do have the Vermin Town uh, up here at the top. I have that. We'll watch that in a little bit. Um, but I do not have the other stuff. And then, um, yeah, this is what pops up when you search him. That's the IMDb. Got the pages, you know. It's like he pops up when you Google him. That's a big thing to have, you know, when you search Mikey Miles, that pops up. You know, it's pretty official that you're uh, that Googleable, I guess would be the uh, the term there. Uh, but yeah, his claim to fame, I guess you could say, is or how I found him, how I think he really started to surface a couple months ago, was um, a <laughs> decent amount of people found this picture. Uh, and it was that kind of night, ice beer, my spinach. Um, so this was on December 15th of this last year here. And, um, let's break this down. We got a lot of shoes in the background and, uh, we got a big bowl of wet, some wet fucking spinach, bro. That is some wet, wet spinach there. And, um... The first hashtag over here is ice cream. I didn't even realize this until uh, until right now. I didn't look at the hashtags on this specific picture. And then also this where's my unemployment at the bottom. That's pretty... <laughs> um, but yeah, we got an iced Bud Light that went a little viral. People thought it was pretty fucking funny. And um, he defended it because there's been a picture here that he posted... I guess Mike Bloomberg um, recently dropped out presidential candidate here. I said he's, I actually put ice in my beer. Most people don't. He was talking about. So, 
I don't know what this is uh what this says about a person but uh you know Bloomberg just spent half a billion in like a month and a half and it didn't do and then just dropped out I wouldn't consider him someone to take advice uh on much much of anything um yeah so he's got a couple catchphrases as you can see here just a kid from new york through my eyes one word powerful <clears throat> these get uh put on merch i don't know if anybody has gotten any of the merch but i'm pretty sure people have ordered the merch um and he's got other stuff like this just a broken pair he's got uh i'm the boss so i think people have bought these hats I don't know if they've gotten these hats, though. So, um, I didn't really look into that that much. I've never seen anybody wearing the Mikey Miles quoted hats, but I've seen people in the comments seem to say that they've purchased them. Um, but yeah, you know, hopefully they're actually going out if the, <laughs> that's the case, <clears throat> but we'll see. I think he's only really made hats so far. They were all on his website. Um, but his website is unfortunately down. Uh, I try to go to it. I think it's milesandmilesenterprises.com. I'll put that in the um, description also. So, you know, maybe the hats will go back up. Maybe I'll be able to get Mikey Miles hats again one day. But currently they're down. Um, but, you know, speaking of that, he does have a decent amount of, like, a community. You know, he's got the 4,732-something uh, followers. It's a decent amount of people that are following him, and uh, let's just say they're very, very involved in the things he's posting, especially the past, uh, you know, two or three weeks where things have really gotten intense here. Um, it, uh, yeah, he's uh, he's being he's got a lot of engagement uh, on his on especially his Instagram. There's a Mikey Miles fan page. Uh, shout out to them. They do a pretty good job of documenting him and uh, kind of communicating with him and keeping him in check um, when he posts certain things. Um, he's he's since deleted some of those certain things, but we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later. So yeah, he's got a decent amount of community uh, following there, a uh, decent amount of love, which is wild. Um, he's got a Patreon. It pulls $45 a month. Um, to humble beginnings, you know, hopefully it gets going up there. He makes uh, personalized videos for people, and um, I think you can get those. You talk to him through his email or through his Patreon or something, and he does shout-outs. It's basically like a private cameo. It's a smart hustle. Cameo doesn't take any of it because he's doing it privately. That's the way to do it. That's how we arranged it uh, with Airsoft Fatty, um, and, like, honestly, it's much better. It's been a while. And... Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's pretty. He's he's got a decent little hustle going on there. He puts some videos where he's commentating about New York on there. He's out there. He's making that forty-five a month. It's something. It's more than we're making. I mean, I'm not talking shit on it. Uh, but yeah, the following's there though. Is the point? Is there's enough to where he's you know getting forty-five dollars a month. He's enough to be getting you know fan art like this. Uh, looks like this is Um, I think on Instagram put this up here but <laughs> yeah this is probably gonna you know get the video taken down but i thought it was worth it to show you that people are out here drawing uh sexy mikey miles fan art uh it's it's something else so i guess i have some random pictures uh we can kind of rock through these and um it's uh uh, there, it's this a trip, I guess. This is a decent amount <laughs> of stuff going on within this little thing of pictures. Um, I'll explain what's going on very briefly and read the caption for uh, any audio <laughs> listeners. So he's sitting on a bed with some Tommy Hilfiger boxers, shirt off, looking like past the camera. It says, when is he relaxing after having five beers? Oh, well, my bro is officially married. When will my turn be? God's master plan. Um, here we have him saying, uh, on Facebook, she called and apologized. Should I give her a third chance? He was getting stood up around his birthday and Valentine's Day. It was a little sad. 
Um, oh, he got this girl's butt in the back. I didn't know he framed that up pretty perfectly there. I didn't even realize that till right now. I haven't really gone through these that much. <laughs> it might not be intentional, but um, you know, he's out here in Planet Fitness. You know, he's saying let's hit level thirty-four about his age. Um, I've seen people do that. They're usually cosplayers, though. Mecha Miles, I do not believe, is a cosplayer from what I've uh, seen so far. And, uh, you know, he's going on dates. He's at, uh, looks like a dance studio, maybe, uh, hanging out. He puts up these pictures where he says he looks like people. Like, I guess he has his head in the same way as them. He, like, matched up his head. He's got a guy ass in this one. I wonder if that one was intentional. Womp. That dude got that cake. Um, but, but, uh, yeah, you know, it's pretty basic Instagram. Like, I guess you put sunglasses on and took the same picture, but I don't know if you look like these people. Um, he's on TikTok playing basketball. I don't think his name, I think his name is that giant user 904239485518. Um, I'm just going to. Let's read this. Uh, on Facebook, when you walk into the coffee shop and you see the girl, I think I got a date for Valentine's Day and I won't be alone for once. Haha, ha, lol. Like, there's nothing wrong with posting this. It's just kind of like you probably shouldn't post this, dude. Getting coffee. I guess you took your shirt off. He's got a little pack. I wonder if this is edited. He's got a little pack going there. Um, You know, he's in a fancy place. He's climbing up. This is his apartment. Right now, I think he's looking for a new apartment. As of uh, 3 5 2020 at 4 20 in the morning, um, I think he's looking for a new apartment still. I don't think he's found one yet. Um, you know, he's listening to hip hop and RB music choice channel. I remember falling asleep to those as a kid because that was the only thing I was allowed to watch at night was like the music choice channel. And it was just like weird ass fucking music. Um, but yeah, he's got his, uh, his to do list here. You can just like read it. Like if you zoom in, it's a good enough picture. So it says vision board, find a job, uh, what's that say, move to a new place, probably, get a girlfriend, uh, what's that say underneath that, can't tell, uh, keep a, keep a racing, keep a reading, uh, physical plus health, get back to NYSE a year, I think, I think that's a, a uh, college, yeah, um, find a pay job, paying manager job um those are good goals bro those are good goals um i think he's got a height thing here i just noticed this too dude god damn he's got a height thing here holy shit um he's a short guy he's got i think he's five seven he's got listen i'm not much taller i'm like five ten i'm not shitting on short kings here that's not what i'm here to do um but he, uh, I think he thinks he's going to go through a growth spurt from what I've heard. And, um, what did, what did that say? 86, 34, what, he's 34, 35, 34? Dude, you can't, you're not going to go through a growth spurt. I'm all sorry to tell you, I don't think it's physically possible. I, it's probably happened, like, fucking once out of, like, the 120 billion people that have ever existed on Earth. Did, they, did someone go through, like, a growth spurt at, like, bordering 40? It just isn't how our bodies work. Um, I don't want to shatter that reality for you, but it's just... It's, I, I, you can do... You know what you can do? Because I've thought about this, is I think the only fucking way to get taller at, like past you know like 25 which is like you know how old i am i think is uh to get stretched like the medieval torture shit um you know what i mean i can pull that up let me see i'm gonna safe search you know medieval torture stretching device like that's what i'm talking about bro this is probably the only fucking way to get taller. I know that's crazy. <laughs> I know that's wild, but that might be true. That might be the only way to fucking do it, bro. All right, I'm on that too long. This picture is just funny because he's got some big bananas there, but this mess of cords is just like fucking with my OCD. Like, that's just, you know, 
that's a messy situation there. But, you know, he's finding a new place. He's going to be able to organize those chords a little better in the new place, probably. Looks like him. So this is what an example of the Patreon post here. Um, and then we also have some more fan art, I think, of him skateboarding. Uh, I think he was just laying down on the ground, and then they added the skateboard and put him on this bridge. But yeah, you know, those are just some random picks. Just a little look into his life. I'm just trying to give you a little taste here. Um, I know I need to speed it up a little bit here. Um, you know, I'm 20 minutes in talking about this son of a bitch. Uh, we need to get to something, you know, a little more intense, right? So I'm going to go through these videos really quick. These random videos, I'm going to kind of pop through them and talk a little bit during them. And then right after that, shit hits the fan, I promise. Hey, it's Mikey. So I've been having a rough time trying to, you know, just trying to get a girl's number and trying to, uh, you know. Just be First off, crazy thing to start with. You're talking, I don't think you had 4,000 or 5,000 followers at this point, but like, crazy thing to just drop this on the internet you cannot just do this it's like you cannot start a video with that line bro become friends uh like i'll see a cute girl on the subway and i'll try to like you know write down on like a car and like hey you're, you're beautiful like you don't know, do that call some time or there's other I ways to a couple girls and they never responded never texted me and then today I was trying to like look in my wallet and I think the girl just was like, why does he have so much shit in his wallet? So I went home and cleaned up my wallet. You gotta keep a clean wallet, bro. Then, like, That's I just a life hack. Her, she's like, nah, nah. You know, I think she thought I was trying to sell her something. So it's really, really He's difficult. hanging out in like the stairwell of his apartment right now, just like fucking going off. Like, up, uh, you gotta uh, calm down, dude. On the, uh, on the subway. There's somebody coming. Uh, very, very diff difficult. You see it in sitcoms, you see it in movies, and they, they make it look easy, but it's very difficult. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, dude. On the street. It is, but you just got to be careful. Like, <laughs> you can't <laughs> act this way in <laughs> today's world. She won't respond, or a girl with a boyfriend, and the guy will look at me like, what the hell are you doing? You know, like... <laughs> I did take a step. I joined this site called eHarmony, and I'm hoping to find. But yeah, you know, here's an example of the personalized like video. And you know, this is, is for Queen Queenton. Um, you don't really need to pay attention to that. They think I smoke, and they call me boss. I don't know why. <laughs> Hope everyone's enjoying their Tuesday. Uh, big shout out to CBS for putting uh, an amazing episodes of Y Five O. I was watching this episode last okay, night. Okay, she's talking about Hawaii Five-O. Uh, Danny, and it was a car accident. And Hello, hope everyone's enjoying their uh, Saturday. Um, I still owe uh, Zane a mug, Brandon a hat, Sarah two hats. <laughs> oh, I guess. Uh, Fabian a hat. Rajiv. I guess he is giving his merch out. Okay. Oh, he's working out here. Holy shit. Jesus. Dude, you gotta chill out. He looks like a young, um, like Andy Dick. He like a little Andy Dick understudy. Andy Dick and Mikey Miles back at it again. It's always difficult to, you know, give somebody another chance, but I decided to do it with this girl. I'll see if she hangs out with me tomorrow or not, because her birthday's tomorrow. I'll be 34 years old. This is just like a big stream of consciousness. And I know that, like,. I'm here talking in a podcast. I'm here recording myself at four fucking thirty in the morning, talking about this dude. So you know, I'm not like better than this, I guess, in terms of things that I'm willing to post on the internet. But just like, it's just too much, I guess. This is just like how moms post on Facebook, where it's just like everything they're doing or something, where it's just way too much. But it's you know, in video form. Taking a little walk. It's about fifty-five degrees. Nice February uh, Sunday. A little disappointed. I was supposed to be moving out today to another room, more uptown. And this, this woman, she left me hanging. How do you leave people hanging like that? You gotta call people, let people know what's up. Like, hello. So he does a lot of monologues like this. And um, we don't really watch the monologues too much. Had a great uh, holiday. He's got quite a few. Uh, quite a few. Go, gone, a but um. 
the Here's Thurman Town. Uh, so I'll let this play a little bit. Just, just take it around the corner and fill it up. So also, it's completely out of transmission fluid. Just put it on the card. Okay, so he's... We operate clandestinely, although we walk the streets amongst you. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Just so you know. So he's playing a funny little character here. I interior light on the van on Amazon all night, and now the van won't start. I think the battery... This looks like a funny enough, you know, Don't idea. Worry. I actually called AAA. They'll be here in ten minutes, you idiot! Long this is though, a secure we don't location. really necessarily watch it. I'm just trying to give you a taste of what he's doing on the internet and what people are already following him for. This one's crazy. I'm gonna drop the audio here just in case. Um, about to get fucking claimed, bitch. I don't think I have any music in here that's gonna get claimed except this might. So I'm gonna cut that. But yeah, we got the basketball project here. I played it in for a second. Ooh. Um, whoa. Miles. Did we go play some basketball? basketball little video. Oh, okay. It's early, early, early. To... Um, but yeah, we don't need to watch this either. Um, just another example. All of these videos are still on his Instagram and his YouTube and everything. It's all very findable. Um, but this is what we're going to, I'm going to play this real quick because this one's, this, this video is important. Whoop. Um, so yeah, we got Miles and Miles Films. We got Ben Ben M playing right now. And um, yeah, so I got the audio drop for the M and M. Hello, this is Mikey Miles, and this is Mini Video E. Uh, this video I'm gonna be talking about my different Herbalife products and telling so, everybody about So let's break down what's going on here. <clears throat> He's got a Herbalife jersey that has. Miles and miles on the back of the jersey. Um, you know, so he goes by Mikey Miles, but his name is Michael David Hermely. Like, there's no Miles in that name at all. Uh, I guess Hermely, Mile, it's Mile, you know, it's in there a little bit. Uh, but we, you know, it's he's got a personalized jersey for Herbalife. I don't know if you guys know what Herbalife is, but and, and I'll get into Herbalife a little bit later too. But it's a like a supplement company. Um, you know, they I think they like workout supplements, milkshakes, food supplements. You know, uh, weight loss stuff, creams, probably like shampoos and shit. Um, you know, they got just basically your typical scam stuff. Your typical, you're getting hit up on Facebook by you know, someone who, you know, bullied you or never talked to you in high school, and they're like, oh my god, how have you been? Do you want to get It Works Raps or some shit? Um, you know, the stuff that the, that's being sold there. So, like, you know, Herbalife is one of those. It's, like, uh, you know, definitely a scam. And, yeah, I'll, you know, we'll keep playing this. Life has done to me so far... Um, it's taken me over two years to understand how important these products are and what they can do for the body. So in this video, I have seven different products, and I'm going to talk to you about them. So this is a long uh, video. He's reviewing all these Herbalife products. Half of my company, the Miles and Miles, uh, I'm trying to build up this a team, my trying to make. team, where I get people healthy and help people. Um, and one day I hope to have hundreds and hundreds of people under my belt that I'm helping. Uh, anyway, so let's get to it. This is mini video eight. Pyramid hope you guys scheme. enjoy this and learn some new stuff about the on the discount. Um, it actually is really good. You know, so yeah, take, you know, take, he's going into these uh, Herbalife the things. So he's selling Herbalife, you know, okay, whatever. He's trying to make money. He's in New York. Um, he's trying to make money. He's got this Herbalife stuff. Whatever. Fuck it. Make your money, bro. Okay, but this is where um, things are going to take a turn. Uh, I just showed you Happy Mikey Miles uh, in his element, being an actor, monologuing, selling Herbalife, uh, you know, doing his thing. But uh, from this point on, everything uh, that I'm going to point out is uh, arguably negative, I guess. Um, none of it from this point on is, is really positive. Uh, there's plenty of other positive things that I didn't cover, plenty of other monologues that are very inspirational. 
um, you know, him sharing his love for New York and him trying to be, you know, yeah, inspirational, being, a, uh, you know, a good leader and an entertaining guy. You know, he's an actor. Uh, but everything from this point on here is uh, is not great, I guess. So, buckle up. So here we have uh, a message where she's uh, a girl, which I haven't blocked any of these names. I don't know how many views this video will get. Um, I don't care because I just need to get this entire message laid out in one place. Um, whether it's for a podcast or not, because it's it's just it's a lot to wrap your head around. Um, but you know, I don't have really any names blurred. Um, I have a couple of things blurred later, but it's all still on the internet. These are all still things people have said and have their comments live. So it's not like this is private information. Like I said, this is all on the fucking web. This is all stuff I googled and just surfed through Instagram and like Twitter. So it's this is you know not private. But you know this girl uh, Molly here is like, why uh, would you hit on a girl in front of her boyfriend? You're so lucky she, he didn't punch you. Now, I should have gotten these other replies, and I'm sure they're in here somewhere, um, but there's two replies there, and then the the jump is, stop being cheap, become a Patreon member. He said that to her, and uh, then she said, Mikey, please do not bully me, to which he didn't respond, which, okay, maybe he's joking, I don't have the whole story there, but, you know, there's two missing messages that they're still out there. I can go get them to see what they are. Maybe they are joking around a little bit, but it, it does not fucking seem like it with that, you know, drop right there. But, you know, that's not crazy. Um, and this isn't, you know, I'm not putting him on blast here for this. Um, but there's the sister-in-law incident that is being discussed. There's a, a Mikey Mouse Reddit that's a little, there's not much going on, but enough to where the people are talking about something like this. So the sister-in-law incident um, is supposedly, first off, of course, Mikey has his own sub. If he knew how popular he actually is, he wouldn't be just a kid from New York. Um, but I only caught bits and pieces of the last family drama. So I'm hoping for some clarification on what he, th I think, happened. Uh, he was staying at his brother's house, using his sister-in-law's laptop, watched naked people hump, um, got caught in the act, or they found out by browser history. Um, and the question here at the end is, did he finish, though? I don't really care about that last question. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, but, you know, that's you know not necessarily a bad thing as much as I, I made it seem like everything from this point on was going to be bad. This is just kind of a funny, embarrassing thing. Um, but it just shows how much people are, you know, actually watching what he's posting and paying attention to it. And, you know, then the reiterating it and stuff like this. Um, so we can get in some hashtags here. And, uh, this is where, um, this is where you start to see a few things. You see, like, where is my princess? Uh, illness, price is right. Uh, I still miss her. Uh, you start to see things like that. And, um, it starts to be, you know, a little concerning. It starts to be a little cryptic. And, um, it starts to be a little confusing. And then you, uh, you know, as you look f forward, you see that everybody that's been following him is pretty aware um, of, uh, you know, his past. It's kind of crazy as I, like, you know, kind of surfed through. A lot of people know exactly what he's, you know, his issues are because he's so public about them. He's just deleted some posts, you know, from years ago. So it's not all necessarily out there anymore. But the story is, and, and everybody, um, a lot of people that are following him know, uh, know you know, know what's happened here. So this isn't exactly news to, um, you know, you necessarily, if you're a Mikey Miles follower already. Um, this next part where I'm going to start to break down um, Sarah. Uh, but this is, uh, you know, probably the most anybody's put it together. Um, I've tried to really make a comprehensive um, timeline, more or less, here. And um, I have this split into five parts, um, this next section about Sarah. And um, we're going to go in on this, and um, yeah, we're going to learn about it. So we got a video, or a picture, my bad. 
um, again, very uh, early in the morning here. <clears throat> so we got 2012 here. Uh, it looks pretty happy. And it even says here in the caption, I looked so happy. I saw an angel. Um, so we learn here that he is high on life in 2012. Uh, things are going good, or at least he, you know, is very happy from a situation he's been in. And we get this pick. Um, you know, putting in a big Herbalife order. Picking up my products at the Carson Warehouse tomorrow. Uh, anyone need anything, let me know. I won't force anyone to try them sh the shakes or anything. Uh, it's not until you try them to you really realize how amazing they are. Um, so, you know, he's just going in. Um, I think that, you know, might be his phone number there at the bottom. Uh, at least it was once upon a time. This is a very old, this is from like 2014. Uh, but again, all shit. I blocked, uh, you know, something else later, like I said. But this is, you know, all on the internet. So I just was on his, you know, Twitter, I think, when I got this. This number is still just out there. So he's just really trying to get people on this, um, you know, Herbalife shit. So here we learn that uh, Sarah is, uh, you know, his life coach. And he's he's tweeting at her and about her. Um, he's calling her cute and stuff. Um, and he is uh, selling under her in the pyramid scheme that is Herbalife. She's taking him under his belt, it seems like, as uh, his coach. So he's calling her cute. You know, it's a little a little much. It's every, like, once a day almost. But he's really plugging it, and he's trying to, uh, you know, get this personalized meal plans for, from his beautiful smart coach. Um, this is a little much here, you know. You're kind of like, uh, what's going on? says you know i'd love to make you laugh lol with like a weird face down there it's starting to get a little odd it's starting to get a little off um and then we start to get to his ads um you know he made this ad here we got uh him getting stoked him tagging the coach you know they're really gonna sell you these shakes he's really getting into it um it's getting a little stranger here you know it says miles miles asked me how acting herbalife we got like <laughs> the theater masks, <laughs> and, then we, <laughs> and then we got the uh, Herbalife, you know, wellness coach thing here on his uh, shirtless pick. It just says for you, coach, and is like, you know, directed at her. So he's got an interview set up for tomorrow. Job pays more than I need. Lamau, uh, grandfather's watch back on my left wrist. Last minute decision to skip the nutrition club where Sarah works and just hit the gym. So it seems like he was about to stop in um, where she worked here, and he decided not to, which was probably a good plan um, on Mikey's part. And, you know, things are about to heat up. He got turned away from South Bay Active Nutrition. What the fuck? Thanks, Dante Williams. Uh, LOL. Sarah wasn't even there. I'm stopping my Herbalife business. Not cool. Got mad respect for him and other coaches. But now I need to start uh, over with a new nutrition club. So Herbalife is wronged Mikey at this point. Uh, he, he was turned away. You know, maybe for all those tweets. Uh, who knows? But he has been turned away from Herbalife, and he is pissed about it at this point. Uh, so then he's got another thing, uh, Herbalife STS, next Saturday. I know she'll be there, dot, dot, dot. Uh, but I might need to rekind this to rekindle my spirits with this amazing company. Amazing has five fucking g's in it holy cow but you know he's trying to get back at it he's trying to get back into herbal life and uh you know apparently he's trying to win sarah back here um not that he had necessarily had her yet um but yeah he's uh you know so here he says i chased the wrong girl and the wrong type of job but at this point he has obviously realized that something uh wrong has happened um, and as we move on, he said he decided not to attend the Herbalife STS tomorrow in Long Beef, despite having an amazing company with five fucking G's again, company with great products. Um, she couldn't even send me a text as my health coach all day. No disrespect. I just figured it wasn't a big deal. 3,000 miles, cough, cough, ha, 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 LOL. I need to start working again. I have money coming into my bank account again. 
Uh, but first, I'm trying to keep my sports car, Katayat, Katayat, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, because I truly love driving. So, he's cutting ties, he's, yeah, you know, he says he went 3,000 miles, cough, cough, it's a little passive-aggressive there, but, like, it seems like he's ready to cut ties and kind of be done with it, right? Like, well, honestly, I don't remember the last time Sarah Fontenot texted me or called me as a friend. It's no big deal. I only gave up on going to college as it came 3,000 miles across the country, let go of two jobs in New York City, and put off other friendships on a hunch that this girl might get closer with me. Unfortunately, these past five to six months, she has chosen another man, Reese, Reese, for Malcolm in the Middle, who seems like a nice, mature individual. Um, she moved in with him. He has a child who they will probably have to support. I mean, probably, bro. Children usually need supported. Uh, maybe it's time to move forward uh, and I give up. Uh, maybe it's time to find another angel, someone who will uh, respect me and appreciate me. There's so girls in this town, so many girls in this town. So this is where it starts to get a little wild, right? This is where it starts to get a little scary. Um, 2014, you know, this is just still up from then. Like, this is just live. And, um, you know, that's wild to me that this is, you know, so passive aggressive and, you know, toxic that it can't be, this just can't be fucking something you put on the internet, Mikey. But this is where it's like, yeah, you know, it takes this really uh, strange turn and you're like, where does it go from here? Like at this point, you know, anywhere. Um, nine weeks after saying I give up to Sarah Fontana, I deserve better. I'm starting to realize my worth. I want a girl who will hug me and take her flowers home with her um, to stand by young actor's side when he is still unknown and maybe take a chance. Um, there are many Sarahs, which is true. They're like, yeah, it's not just the one Sarah. And the issue that was had here, Mikey, is she's a sales... Like, she's in sales. She was nice to you because she's in sales. <laughs> she's trying to make you buy her pyramid scheme shit. Like, that's just how sales work. Like, car salesmen act like they want to suck your fucking dick because they want you to buy a car. That's just how sales work. It's it's not great. But, like, you know, hooters. Um, I wanted to apologize to anyone that I offended with all of my Sarah Fontenot posts. Also, to anyone at South Bay Active Nutrition for my behavior. It was not acceptable. I crossed the line and got obsessed with maybe one of the most beautiful young ladies I've ever seen. Uh, I'm 29 and I feel old. So then he says that he's going to put up two videos here. We got the mini video, 13 Firefly, and we got Mile 16, no title yet. Um, so he apologizes here, and it's like, okay, he's done. I, th this is, I think this is still 2014 here. So it's like, okay, <clears throat> you're good. You're done. You had this crazy, weird little obsession. But you're going to bail on it. You're going to, oh, uh, wait, five years ago? Yeah, this is like 2014, 2015. He's 29 here. Um, so it's like, okay, you, you, you got a chance. You know, you can GTFO out of this. Nobody really knows you yet. Whatever, It'll, you, this will pass. Um, so he's back in the dating game. Uh, Sarah can't be the only woman here in this state. Definitely not. Um, I think there's 370 mil people in America. I'm going to assume half are women. Um, split that by 50. There's definitely more than one. Um, I miss you, Angel. I miss you. Uh-oh. Okay. So, so it's been hashtag three years. And uh, it's 3,500 miles. <laughs> now it's gone up 500 miles. I don't know. I don't know if the, the Earth stretched. I, I don't think the U.S. stretched that big um, in a couple of years, but he's tw he's he's like putting it at her, like be sure of dropping her handle in that shit. She's getting a notification on that. Um, and then I still miss you. Eight years later, not a day goes by uh, where I don't think about you. I couldn't take my eyes off this real rose, just like I couldn't take my eyes off you. I will climb another gate to see you. We'll get back to that. I know you're not married yet. I know you don't have kids yet. I haven't hugged you or seen you in four years. I hope all is well, Sarah. I still miss you. Eight years, dude. Eight fucking years. It's like, I get it. I get that, like, okay, maybe you thought 
love at first sight, right? You are naive. It's fine. That's, you know, justifiable. Eight years. You gotta fucking get it together. You got it. You can't, why are you hugging your Herbalife coach? Like you can't just like, dude. I'm just yeah. So here he is talking to some people, uh, some this some dude in particular, and he's like, not sure if Sarah saw this as she blocked me. Please share it with her, bro. Um, so he's got people like you know, dudes out here send shit to her, um, because he's blocked, which is nuts to be you know doing that. Obviously, you were blocked for a reason. So then we get this video right around this time period. And uh, it's him in the shower. Water running down his face. Mikey Miles going after the same girl coming October 2014. Okay. Next we get Firefly. I thought of the name Firefly because uh, in this video I'm going to light something on fire. Um, basically for the past, let's see, I say about four years, uh, I was obsessed with this girl. And anybody out there that knows when you get obsessed with a guy or a girl, it's, it's, it's very, very difficult to almost impossible to move forward and, and let that person go. Uh, so basically, I wrote something for this girl, Sarah, and I was going to light it on fire. <laughs> uh, basically, to put a little closure, you know, in my mind. Okay. And, um, Doesn't necessarily need to be filmed, I, I guess. Might help me. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> you know, I definitely think it's... it's Difficult to, to move on from a person, especially when that person is All right, let's jump forward jobs, a little bit here. Put college applications down on the ground because I wanted to see her. I wanted to hug her again, and it's too honestly, much. she didn't really appreciate me for that. She didn't really whatever. And no disrespect to her, she's got to make her own choices, and I totally respect that. I got to understand that. Okay, yeah. I got to yeah. understand that as a, as a man. Um, but it's still her here. Yeah. You know, her, and I really wish her the best of luck. Okay. Um, Sounds good. Uh, gain muscle. You want those abs? Definitely. Um, look into Herbalife. It's a great nutrition. Still endorsing company. Herbalife, by the way. Still you going for it. They, they accept. Hey, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe this person wasn't right in my life. Maybe they're not my soulmate. Maybe this is not God's plan. Yeah. And it being molded. You're molding that clay. Well, that's how I think of uh, myself. Self. Uh, okay, so let's get to him burning this thing. I great girl. Nobody just like I said, Sarah's still gonna be my coach. I'm still Sarah's gonna be his coach. And, you know, it's a great nutritional company, like I said. So I still keep this for my notes. You know, I didn't want to burn the journal. But inside it's the Herbalife journal, journal, I wrote something for Sarah. And, um,. I'm not even gonna read it. How about that? I'm not even gonna read it. I'm not even gonna read Guess it. Guess where we go? Site right there. Damn. This video hurts. Um, all I can say is that you probably shouldn't have filmed this, bro. This is something that you do um, kind of privately. Also, careful that smoke alarm is going to go off. You're going to put the fucking sprinklers on. But just like. Yeah, the fire department won't show up. Yeah, if fire department won't show up, yeah. The windows open. But like, okay, you get it. You get it. You get what? He burns. He burns the thing. Let's learn about Sarah. So, Sarah, uh, Miss Sarah Fontana, uh, right here on Instagram, fifty-five point seven k. As this started, and I started to learn about this very slowly, I had no idea it was going to be somebody with like this amount of a following. Um, it says she has a seven-figure business up here, philanthropist, speaker, investor, yeah, in a fucking pyramid company, or life, whatever. Um, so, you know, this is her. She's big. This is, like, a, a very big, like, influencer-type page that, um, he's, he's venturing after. This is the Sarah. Um, because for a long time, I don't think it was exactly obvious who she was. 
but now it is. Um, now it's been very public because he would drop her pictures. He would post her pictures. And um, as he posted these pictures, we learned, like, oh, okay, this is her. This is, like, a celebrity, basically, um, that he is very much, uh, you know, harassing, at the very least, at this point. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> here's her website. It's, like, this Disruptor Elite group, which, and again, this woman is not on blast here. Um, it's just really fucking funny, like, that it's through Herbalife. Because I could make a whole nother video on these scam things. I could do a whole fucking th expose on that also. On how much of a scam and, and pyramid scheme all of that shit is. But like everybody fucking knows that already. This is not private knowledge that these companies are fucking garbage. And just suck you dry. But look at this fucking $1,000 thing like on her website. Like it's just crazy because it's like... He so much drank the Kool-Aid in this situation. Or the Herbalife fucking milkshake in this situation, I guess. The protein shake. He's drinking, um, you know, that. And it's got him fucked up because he's head over heels. He's that Herbalife milkshake acting like a love potion. So this is her actual store, uh, real quick thing. Just throwing that up. That shit is expensive as Fuck, who has the fucking money to drop $270 on just some vanilla shit that probably tastes like garbage? You have no idea what that tastes like. Who, like, <laughs> oh my god, this is, it's just wild. You know, so here's a little thing about Herbalife and how much of a pyramid scheme it actually is. You know, this is just a little example. Um, there's this entire documentary called Betting on Zero. Um, I won't play that. Um, but it's a, you know, a huge uh, documentary. I haven't watched it yet, but I kind of plan on it now. Um, exposing Herbalife, because Herbalife is very fucking, very sketchy. I mean, there's fucking documentaries trying to expose, like, the the fucking, how crooked it is. You, you gotta realize it. Um, but finally, about Sarah, I guess I'll just say, and p play this, to just show how much, like, the influencer type she is. that Like, how you know, high above the situation it seems um, she is just because of, you know, the following she has What's up, what guys? she is. I just wanted to come on here and share. I have a lot of women or really people, but mostly women that I work with that are so, constantly yeah. asking about how to develop their confidence. How do they position themselves? As the You get it. Again, trying to rock through this. Don't need to, you know, go into it too much more. So... Now we're going to get into uh, what I would like to call part three, which is rock bottom. So in the past three weeks or so, I guess, Mikey Miles has um, hit rock bottom. Uh, you know, and he's better than he was three weeks ago and two weeks ago. He's better today um, than he was. But you know, this is still where it's, you know, pretty intense here. Uh, you know, Mikey Miles, this is one of the things he posts. They say we come ac uh, across people in our lives that have an impact. They cross our paths. I never got to know you. You stay quiet. Um, you know, people are commenting here. They're like, Mikey, do you genuinely think posting this is harmless and romantic instead of scary and psychotic? Um, y y you know, people are calling him out on it. There's some people in the comments that are already worried, uh, you know, for him at this point. And, you know, it, it does, it's an obsession. It's been, you know, almost a decade at this point, And, it, you know, it's kind of like, what the hell? So, look at this. This is just a, a couple, like a week and a half ago. He's just like, said, I miss you five words. And he's tweeting at her. You know, he just keeps tweeting at her. Um, this one's from a while back. But, you know, it just shows that, like, he's been tweeting at her just, like, consistently. Here's a giant thing of just, like, through the years, just, like... I don't want that word love. I never use that word bro. I said my heart missed her. That's it. Like he's just like talking to her, like just like constantly unblock me. I miss you. I apologize. Life is short. It's just systematic. It's over and over and over and over again. Um, and then this is where we go back to that gate situation. I climbed her gate eight years ago. I have a feeling she has an imaginary gate around her heart. Love is blind. 
you look down here at the bottom, we get holy fuck from the Mikey Miles fan page. Mikey Miles fan page. Mikey, we're going to delete your fan page if you're going to be posting this type of shit. That's insane to have your own fan page be like, we're about to disown you. Like, you, you're stepping on toes with this crazy jumping gate situation. So what I've learned from this is he went to her fucking house at one point, probably in the middle of the night, and jumped her gate, was in her backyard, fucking around, probably naked, covered in Herbalife powder. No, I'm just fucking around. But, like, he's in, he's trespassing at this point. He's on her property. He's publicly talking that he was on her property and, you know, it it doesn't say like he got caught. It just says I like, climbed her gate eight years ago and was fucking around on her property. Who knows what? It's like, did you not get caught for this? And you're, you know, you just finally you're just admitting it on the internet. <laughs> like that's insane. That's what it seems like. Um, but yeah, you know, he's very open about the fact that he trespassed. On, uh, I climbed a gate for her. I spent a lot of money. I gave up jobs for her just to see a face as beautiful as her. It was worth it to me. Let her do her thing. Which you respect to an amazing lady. Amazing with four fucking G's. Um, I never threatened her or disrespected her. I never will. I care about her. That's all. This is just all comments and shit across multiple social medias um, that's being posted about this woman that he's, you know, saying that he you know, is not, it's not actually what it seems. It's not that crazy. And this is where it gets wilder because there's people that are pro like him doing this, I guess. Um, you know, he, this, this is person just saying that he have a, he has a Sarah relapse every one to three weeks. Uh, he needs to come across another, another angel. There's no cure, but it's between meltdown. Like, you know, this person's being very cheerful and trying to, like, support it, but it's just, like, normalizing it in such a strange way, I guess. Um, but there are other people that are actually supportive of him being obsessed with her, which is a big problem because, like I said, I didn't think she was anywhere near this situation. I thought she was so fucking above this that it wasn't, like, even hitting her. You know, she's almost got 60,000 people following her on Instagram, I'm assuming that she has so much wild shit, like, in her inbox that it doesn't matter. She's not actually, like, reading, you know, anything that is, like, being said about this, you know, dweeb, for the lack of a better term, Mikey Miles. Um, but then we get her response. This is where I knew I had to make a video on it, um, because fans of Mikey are making images like this and sending them to her and she's seeing them <laughs> that's where it blew my mind i didn't think she would ever like be involved in this situation again i th you know i thought you know maybe <clears throat> he had been caught in her backyard or something and it was done but like he moved to california for her hence the 3000 or 3500 miles depending on what day of the week it is and um you know, he moved there for her, so now he's back in New York, so it's like, okay, I thought the situation was done, and she wasn't going to be, I guess, involved with it anymore, um, but that's definitely not the case, because she's definitely, you know, posting, please report, report, giant, fucking stalker alert, like, she's upset, she's seeing these images, and that's where I knew I had to, you know, go a little bit farther in on everything to really see. Uh, what's going on here okay guys real talk i have been getting harassed stalked for eight years by him he takes posts uh my photos concerned citizens are emailing me and not being trolled by his crazy following i have a restraining order but that doesn't stop social media so this one was about three weeks ago both of these posts i think were dropped um, at the same time and this is where you learn that she is very, very aware of it and has a restraining order. So legally, she eventually took legal action against this. And that's where it's like, it, it's why this all of a sudden becomes a crime. And it's like, okay, then this is an actual problem here. And you're somehow chiseling through to her. Um, and it's just like, dude, it's been a decade. I understand maybe two years. 
not a decade like come on so these are in her story posts on instagram again nothing too private she's very open about this finally and you know tired of it um to my followers i truly appreciate you if you have are going to report thank you uh, instagram this is not okay stalker please report report this is not a joke like she's very serious she's very upset with this and then um here she has reposted a picture like of him so <laughs> ass shot there but i mean you took the photo uh you know you i miss your smile i miss your voice this story has a choice this is just him writing you know like poetry and stuff and she reposted the whole thing and is like instagram please look at his deleted photos this is cyber harassment consistently posting his photos i've asked him not to getting stalked harassed for eight years Restraining order doesn't cover this. You know, everybody's just saying report this page like to stop him. Okay. This part is when I realized that Mikey Miles might be a psychopath, I guess. And I'm sorry. Or, a, you know, a sociopath. You know, I'm sorry for saying that. If that's not true, which it might not be. But she put this video up. And this one is wild. This is her blocked list on Instagram. It says, this is my block list. This is not a joke. He continues to make new accounts. He gets new numbers, emails, and tries to contact me. And now I'm being trolled by his crazy following. Look at this list of how many are... Okay, so right here in this one shot, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that are either him or fans. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. That's the name of his car down there at the bottom. That's 30. 31, 32, 33, 34 different fucking accounts that he made or fans made, I guess. Who knows? He's trying to contact her. But I could totally believe that that's him. 34 accounts for the amount that, you know, he's been tweeting. Like, that's very, not even that crazy. I'm surprised there's not more. She probably cut it off. Um, but now I'm just going to go through some of the random comments. The first few here aren't necessarily too, um, yeah, like, bad on anybody. It's just kind of goofy at first. Um... But yeah, so right here we have, uh, would you rather eat the waffles or Sarah on some picture? And he's like, eat her, you know what, <laughs> I want six kids. And he got called a king by Dirk Diggler, which I guess makes sense. Um, you know, he's saying, I didn't know I love her, or I didn't say I love her, I barely know her, she's beautiful no matter what. Uh, he's telling people he's going to kick their ass. Uh, but yeah, here's people's responses. Pretty sure this violates your restraining order. Uh, Mikey, they can arrest you for posting someone who has blocked you. I delete it. Mikey, don't take Sarah's advice. It's nonsense from an inspirational poster. She doesn't want your limp noodle weirdo. Give it a rest. Uh, yeah, so people are coming in here. And um, they're getting pretty upset about um, this whole situation. Uh, stop it. You have no idea how scary this is to her. Um, just stop it. You're sick and now honestly so disgusted. Like, people are mad, you know. People are getting... Uh, I don't need to read all of these. Uh, but it's just mostly people saying, like, you have to stop this. Um, but then there's a couple people like this that says, like, go get her, Mikey. There's a couple people that are, you know, supporting this. And that's not okay to... Um, you know, be be telling telling him that this is not a crazy thing to be doing because this is definitely a very crazy thing to be um, continuing this far. Uh, you know, breathe, leave this girl alone. Um, haha, bro, chill. I'm never gonna never gonna do anything. I miss my old friend. She flips out. She did this to me before. I don't think this is just like a cycle. She's just upset. Like it's just not going to uh, fix itself. Um, this isn't some sort of cycle that she's in. She doesn't want anything to do with you, dude. And I don't think you can ever fix this situation if she has a restraining order against you. I don't think there's any way. Um, but yeah, this, you know, this person, Vito, here is like, never give up. Mikey, maybe if you climb her gate again, she'll show how much she really cares. She just freaks out. I don't know why. That's what he responded. Like, these people, it's, you can't, 
Are you fucking talking this situation up? This is so ridiculous if they're actually making this worse and, like, filling this dude's head with this shit. And then um, this guy says, why'd you climb her gate? Just a romantic gesture, question mark. He said, I left gate. Oh my god, I left gifts. Uh, like, in that Fifty Shades Darker movie. So he climbed the gate, left gifts, and um, that's how he got the restraining order, I'm assuming. That was probably finally the last straw, where it was like, okay, you know, this has to end, she realized. Um, now, I can't find the restraining order. I will say that. I looked a lot. Um, unlike some of the other states where I've looked up criminal records about, you know, other people, it's they're not as easy to find in California and New York because they're much larger, you know, populaces. The, uh, you know, the California one, I looked pretty hard. There's really no way to find restraining orders unless they have something to do with you like unless you're one of the parties involved that's kind of the only way you can look them up it looks like you need the case number which i don't have if there is one if this is all a real restraining order so i do not have that unfortunately um uh, but but yeah it's just uh it's, do it for her mikey this is your destiny you know weed taco out here is you know just putting these ill thoughts in the head like it's uh not okay but here he says, back on my date sites, uh, gotta be many angels out there, let's get it. Um, he got called out pretty hard by the following, I will say that. And it's interesting that I think, I guess potentially this might be the first time that he learns. Only because I hope he knows, and if he doesn't, and he's watching this, I guess he knows now... But I hope he knows that she's actually posting those things in her story, and is is aware and is putting it out there to sixty thousand people. Um, because when you're being put on black and what I, we got eighty nine subscribers or whatever, like this isn't a huge audience that I'm you know putting this out to. Hopefully, a lot of people that are fans of Mikey Miles are interested in the situation. Watch this video and subscribe, but. Uh, you know, I'm not. This situation is is I'm not putting it out there to a, an insane amount of people. She is, and I just hope he realizes that that is can be devastating. And the whole like you'll never work in this town again thing will fucking happen to you, dude. If you don't chill the fuck out, um, I don't think it's irredeemable at this point. I think a lot of people have bounced back from way fucking worse. I'm not trying to compare you to like you know like r kelly but like people still like love people that have done much much worse things than you so you can like but people have been canceled for much less than what you've done but people have also been forgiven for much worse so i guess just take that how you will um because you're you're given you're you've been given a ton of fucking chances it seems like and it seems like you might not get that many more and you will not do good in jail i fucking promise you um but that being said he does seem like he is making a bit of uh, a change um in terms of what he is trying to do here um so we have this we'll play this through Beautiful day. It's gorgeous here today, about 56 degrees. Got my light leather Korean jacket on today. I'm looking at rooms, trying to find a place here to, <laughs> to move into. I'm still looking for a job. My search continues for another room and a job. <laughs> and now, uh, hopefully, some other uh, girls come into my life. I, I gotta start praying that the, the right girl's gonna enter my life. Instead of chasing the, the wrong person <laughs> for nine years of my life. <laughs> uh, anyway, I hope everyone's enjoying the day and uh, stay positive. Things could always be worse, and we gotta remind ourselves that. Yeah. It's like so. he knows he's he knows at the end of the day what he's doing is weird and wrong, and he's said several times like I would need to stop doing this. So it's like he. Um, you know, maybe this is it. Maybe this is when he finally learns, uh, you know, not to be doing this. Like I said, a lot of people have bounced back from way worse than this. Um, so, again, take this as, you know, another chance. 
Um, but something that I realized um, during this video is in not even writing it and just recording here, um, I realized his name is Michael David Harmony, not Mikey Miles. And at first I just thought that was like a nickname, like the Miles and Miles Enterprises. But is that because you traveled 3,000 miles to get there? If that's the case, that's wild for an origin name, dude, that that's there. Like, you need to embrace that. And, like, this could one day be a very good comedy bit. You could turn this into, like, stand-up comedy. Um, you know, looking back on this, if you do this right, like, there's a way to redeem this. There's a way to move forward. Um, and, yeah, but... It's been about five days, I believe, since uh, Sarah post. Um, so he is doing fairly well in terms of not, um, you know, indulging in those impulses to basically horny post a picture of Sarah with a giant poem. Um, so, you know, it's been five days. It's obviously there's probably been longer gaps, but after posting this video, it's been several days now. So. You know, maybe this is uh, a bit of a a bit of a change overall. But yeah, all in all, I really hope um, you know you get your shit together, dude. If you're listening to this, and again, like, you want to talk, like I said, I'll definitely talk to you. But I'm not gonna be easy on the questions. It's gonna be um, stuff that's not necessarily easy to answer. Uh, when I first reached out, it was. It, the questions are going to be a whole lot lighter because I didn't know any of this. And now that all of this has happened, the subject matter will definitely be a little bit harder to swallow, I guess. But I don't know if you need to talk to me. Um, I don't know if you want to do that. Um, but what you need to do is, you know, make the change that you know you need to make. Um, you know all of the right answers on, like, what you need to do differently. And you've said them. Um, it's just time to actually do it, I guess. But, yeah. Um, Mikey, I hope you, uh, you know, follow this restraining order. I, what I would do is, you know, maybe delete all those accounts, delete anything, um, extra you've done. Um, maybe just delete, uh, you know, any tweet you've ever put to her, um, block her account so that you can't see her shit. And, um, yeah, it's, you know, there's a way to uh, counteract this thinking and really block it out of your head if you you have the tools to block her and sorry if my thoughts um and my information on this was slightly unorganized at all i tried to group it as best as i can but this is a wild uh story here and um yeah i hope if you've if you're listening you made it this far i hope you're able to take it all in again it's there's a couple answers that we don't have we'll say we have most of the things um, that really need to be discovered here. And we honestly, we know the next steps of uh, where Mikey should go from here. And uh, finally, I'll outro this um, whole podcast with a fan video that someone has made of him. Um, their name's KRM on uh, YouTube. Go ahead and go give them a follow. Uh, watch this video. And, uh, it has a song called, uh, I think, The River Bends by The Nomads, or the other way around. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I will put a link to that also in the description. Um, sorry for using the song. He also claimed that he had no rights to this music. I do not either, um, but it's not a huge band. Um, but it is a pretty cool video that this guy made. And um, honestly, here's looking forward, Mikey. Um, hope things are... You know, hope you stop breaking the law, I guess, <laughs> um, is the, the, the non-sugar-coated way uh, to outro this. Um, but thanks for listening, everybody. I'll definitely do more episodes where I dig this deep on somebody in the future. And, um, you know, it's been a while. It's been a while. Have a good one. Saturday, but back from Brooklyn, ready to go into another shift on this uh, Saturday evening. 
and I'm texting girls that don't care about me. <laughs> I'm wondering why it's so difficult to find a, a new a new princess. Yeah.